Hey everybody, it's Topaz. So, the Link event basically just happened, and the only viable deck that I had was Ignisters. I think they're a really cool archetype, and a lot of fun, but obviously not one of the strongest available. I prefer to play janky stuff, or mixed decks, where I'm not running just one extra type. So, you know, having to play something that's locked to one type is very difficult at times, so the Link deck was... It wasn't really any different than the other events. It was just an extra exception for me, because I don't run a lot of Links. Anything that's specifically Link-based. Uh, I have a Token Beatdown deck that does that, where it requires a lot of Links. But that's not a competitive deck at all. I had to make something that was competitive, and so Ignisters ended up being that option for me, with Avermax being kind of a boss monster of sorts, but I was never able to go into the Link 6 Ignister. But this fight was a lot of fun. I thought it was really cool to see a deck that doesn't necessarily use the extra deck, and that's something that I like to do. I love to use the Prediction Princess Crawler deck. And it's mainly main deck focused without using the extra deck at all. But I did the best I could with the event available. Basically just used Ignisters. A little experimenting here and there. But overall, like, it's the least favorite event of mine for sure. I think like a lot of other people. But I can't say that I had like a terrible experience. So I'm hoping for a little bit more creativity because now that they've gotten all the events out of the way unless they decide to do a ritual only event which is kind of impossible because there's some main deck there's some decks that can use the main deck period without ever using rituals the same as any other event but I doubt they'll do a ritual only event although again I, I would find it amusing uh, let's hope that they come up with some more interesting ideas later on and uh, yeah thanks for watching